Hi Capricorn and welcome to your Spiritual Path Tarot Reading. This is for August 2019 and this tarot reading is intended for those of you who are walking a, spiritually, a spiritual path, who are very spiritually focused, spiritually gifted, spiritually awakening. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card here for overall energy and message regarding your spiritual energy, spiritual path and spiritual gifts for August. So let's see what comes out for you Capricorn. All right, meditation improvements require persistence. So Capricorn, this coming out as your energy, um, what I feel is there's something in your life that you are trying to really improve or manifest for yourself. And you know, it's connected to your spirituality, your spiritual gifts. And um, this right here is you're like under the mindset of, you know, um, you've just got to keep going, keep going, keep going. And Spirit's saying in the month of August, it's actually time for you to kind of slow down and take a break, okay? Because you've got to also remember, Capricorn, you're on the um, axis for the eclipses this year. So there's powerful transformations taking place in um, all Capricorns, but those who are, you know, very spiritually gifted, aware, um, very sensitive, experience them to a greater degree with far more awareness. And so I feel like there's been a lot that's been going on for you energetically and spiritually, mentally and emotionally. And spirits like August is a time for you to really kind of take a, a step back and let yourself recharge from like everything you've been going through and plans and goals. It's like you will not lose any traction or footing by taking a step back and allowing yourself um, to be human again. Okay, like I almost feel that um, you guys are so caught up in your spiritual self, your spiritual journey, your spiritual gift, your spiritual business, like that you've lost sight of your physical self. Okay, um, so let's pull some more cards about that. Um, this here is going to represent the, um, you know, any sort of lower vibrational energies, lessons that you are overcoming in the month of August. All right, look at that atonement. And it was actually, all of these are like upright, but that came out this way. So to me, that is synchronistic, Capricorn. I don't know why this one is flipped because no other sign has received this particular card from this deck and I only have two more readings after you guys. So to me, what this is saying is you have um, taken way more punishment. You've taken much more um, on yourself than you had to. Um, you've tried to like take on other people's karma to help them heal and move forward. And it's like, um, you've really, man, with this, it's like you have taken on so much and taken on a lot of abuse, some of you, okay? And it's like, you just want to keep going, keep going, keep going. And um, spirits like, listen, Capricorn, you've already done your work like you have nothing to atone for at this point you have stepped up and gone above and beyond um in ways that are amazing and almost superhuman okay and this being stuck in this energy like you oh or you're not good enough or um, you've got to do more. Or you've got to take on the problems and the sadnesses of other people. Like Spirit saying, no, Capricorn, it's time for you to rest. It's time for you to recharge. There's nothing that you need to atone for. Okay. That's very interesting. I have not gotten a message like that from any other sign, Capricorn, um, at all. And like I said, you are my, um, I only have two more readings after you. So let's pull some more cards and look, dig deeper into this. 
And you know, a lot of you, like old wounds that you've been carrying around, um, I really feel like August, there's a healing coming in for you guys. Like it just a freedom, a restoration, a revitalization of you and your energy. All right, so we have download. We have emerald tablets. And we have the intercessor. Okay, Capricorn. So yeah, pretty much everything I just said. And I, I really love this because I said you need some downtime and look at download. Um, what that means to me is you like I said you've been doing the work and you've been receiving like a lot of spiritual downloads and expansions to your consciousness but you've just been like in this mode of go 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 absorb absorb like um just like kind of non-stop that you haven't had a chance to assimilate all that um you have been exposed to and all that you've grown into and so that's part of why you know August is a time to really kind of step back and relax and allow yourself to recharge all the way down to your core and everything is going to like expand into your consciousness and assimilate within you emerald tablets right there capricorn if you have not read those or the cabalion i highly recommend you take a look at them since your spirit guides are bringing them through for a part of your um, spiritual path because there's a lot of um, information there, but that what's there, it's more of like um, a triggering to your subconscious, to your spirit as you read through those. And, you know, I've read them several times, but each time I do it again, I take away a lot of new information and activations. And so I feel like some of you um, are receiving a download through these emerald tablets that are going to help you... Um, not only recharge your batteries, but um, give yourself permission to, like, I don't know. It, it, I just feel you guys carrying the weight of so many things, especially with the intercessor right there. It's like you want to save everyone, everything. It's like you advocate for kids or for animals or for women or for, you know, different uh, groups to have equal rights, you know, things like that. Um, it's like so self-sacrificing and selfless, the energy that I'm picking up for you guys, um, where you just give, 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 give. And with the intercessor and that atonement, like you really try to um, help people come to the light, um, come to the truths within themselves and face their darkness and face down their fears and, you know, um, become better versions of themselves. And I just, Capricorn, I feel like you have taken on so much and spirits like it's time for you to have a break and to relax and um to take notice of all that you have accomplished accomplished all that you are growing into how many people you have truly helped um and some of you i feel like you have very little resources but somehow you've been making all of this happen and spirits like let's take a step back it's time for capricorn it's time for you all right so let's pull some tarot dice All right, yeah, look at this. Yes, Capricorn. Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords, okay? That, to me, is 100%. Like, you see all those swords in her back? It's like, um, these are like swords in your spirit, Capricorn, all right? It's like um, you've given so much that it's now it's time to give back to yourself, Um like uh, restoration healing to your energy um where it's like you've just taken on the weight of the world here here's the page of pentacles and then lastly the
the Four of Cups. Yeah, Capricorn, it is time for a change, okay? A change of routine for you. You need a break. You need some restoration. And honestly, you know, people who take more from you than they give um, consistently, it's time for you to put your foot down and really kind of put distance in that connection regardless of your good heart um, and your good intention because with that Seven of Swords there, I just feel like um, the capacity to which you give and heal has got you stabbed in the back a few times and broke your heart. Like, how could this happen? You know, I was so good to you. I was so kind to you. I only helped you out. And, you know, you end up feeling stabbed in the back. And um, Capricorn, again, it, it's time to, like, slow down and allow spirit to heal you, okay? And also, prayers. It's time for you to pray for yourself because the intercessor has magic with prayer for themselves and for others. And you've been giving so much out to others. It, it's like, spirit's like, it's about you, Capricorn. Let's make August about you. And with meditation and the intercessor, it's like spirit wants to walk with you in a quiet space, okay? And help heal you and give you the answers that you seek. And, you know, for some of you, um, you could just now be getting out of a cycle of um, a lot of atonement for, you know, past things. But like I said, the reason why that atonement came out reversed is because it, that time is over um, to atone for yourself or try to atone for others. Like, it's time for Capricorn in the month of August. You need to heal. You need to be restored. Um, your consciousness needs to uh, fully incorporate all that you've been experiencing and growing through. All right, so let's pull some tarot cards and get more information. All right, yes, look at that, Ace of Pentacles. It's time for you. King of Swords on top of the Seven of Swords. So um, Capricorn, this right here could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that really hurt you, really stabbed you in the back after you helped them. And like, you could just feel so confused, like, and hurt. Like, how... I never saw this coming. Like, I only helped you. I was only there for you. Well, with everything you've been going through, it's like to transform you into this butterfly, like this Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn. Um, like, you deserve so much back for what you've been giving um, to others. And look here, Hanged Man, on top of this Page of Pentacles. This is like where your consciousness and perception must shift about yourself and what you deserve. And lastly, look at this. Queen of Pentacles, this is you, and she is, you know, pregnant here, and look at that big Ace of Pentacles right behind her, okay, so Capricorn, um, that's why I feel August is a time of rest and um, restoration for you, because look at where it ends. It ends with this beautiful pregnant earth queen. You are earth energy and there's something, um, you know, a new step, a new beginning, something on the horizon for you that's going to burst through right here with this um, ace of pentacles. Okay. But I feel like in August, it's more about um, recharging, healing and recovery and preparation for this new start and new beginning for you because it's like you ha you don't need to take on the weight of the world or anybody else's sins or even, you know, if there's things you're sorry for that you did in the past, like the um, acceptance of that, the ownership of that is all that it takes, you know, when you truly feel it all the way down into your soul and you're like, I was wrong in that, like, I wish I could do that in a different way, you know, that's, that's what it is. Like, you've got the lesson, okay? And um, I just feel like some of you, you may have a lot of guilt inside your heart for different things you've done in the past, and it's like you want to make up for them. 
but Capricorn, it's spirits like you've already done the work. Like there's nothing to atone for at this point, not for you. And you certainly don't need to be atoning for other people. It's like time for you to have a break and look at this triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. And uh, right there, remember how I said at the start um, that, you know, perhaps you guys were feeling more, you know, um, in tune with like your spirituality rather than, you know, anything going on um, within your like physical reality. Well, with that Capricorn, that triple moon, it's you've got to... Um, that's why you need this time in August for yourself is because it's like things are too out, out of balance. Um, with that atonement energy, it, it's, um, time to be human. It's time to be your physical self in August. Okay. And I see that here very strongly. This is your spiritual self, very wise. Okay. And here's where the perception needs to shift to give yourself a break. Um, give yourself permission to step back, recharge, and heal because Capricorn, there is something new birthing about you or birthing in your reality in regards to your spirituality and the next step up ahead. But in August, it's time to focus on your physical self and um, enjoying yourself and pampering yourself and loving yourself and, you know, walking with spirit in your quiet moments and you're just, there's a beautiful expansion taking place, okay? So Capricorn, those are your messages. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.